back. Welcome back to another great show here on TOTMT Talk. And TOTMT Talk is the place where we can candidly speak about all things relative to that time of the month. Actually, it's the only place where we can candidly speak about all things relevant to that time of the month. So are you guys ready to jump into the mood talk, the crave talk, the craft talk, the TOTMT Talk? I know I'm ready. All right, well then let's get started with TOTM topics. What's new in period news? Today's topic is full disclosure. Ladies, do you know what's in the tampons that you use that go into the most delicate part of your body? Or what about the sanitary napkin? Well, currently companies are not required to disclose the materials that they use in tampons or sanitary napkins or panty liners. And I think that we, we women, should know what type of materials that we're using on our body, but also what we're using within our body. So you guys can weigh in on this discussion by going to our website at itsmytotm.com and check out the forum. Okay, so it's time for a TOTM break. We will be back in a TOTM moment. back and thanks for tuning in. It's time for the TOTMT back. Today's question reads, when I'm purchasing tampons or pads, I avoid the male cashier. I was wondering if anyone else does. That question is from Monique in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. That's an interesting question. You know what? I'm going to ask that same question to our audience and see what they're thinking about that. Monique from Crown Heights asked a very interesting question. Do you avoid the male cashier when you're buying your tampons or your sanitary napkins? And for me, I do not avoid the male cashier. Whichever line is open, that's the line I go to. So I'm going to see what our audience has to say. Do you avoid the male cashier when you're buying your feminine products? No, I don't. I used to, but I don't anymore. Stacy, So Stacy, when you're buying your femme products, do you avoid that cute guy at the register well like the other lady said no i don't but i did when i was young so when you're at the supermarket checking out your feminine products do you avoid the male cashier sometimes i think it's always like a little awkward like i feel kind of weird if i go to a man but if i have to do it i have to do it okay do you when you go to the supermarket do you avoid the male cashier when you're buying your feminine products? Usually I'll probably go to a girl, but if only a guy's around, I'll go to them and just kinda not look at him while I'm checking out. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if he's cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so it was June 21st, 1997. The New York Liberty versus the Los Angeles Sparks. And who was at the tip-off? Who actually did the tip-off? It was none other than Kim Hampton and Lisa Leslie. Well, that was a momentous game because that was the very first game of the WNBA 19 years ago. And now they're going into their 20th year. So, my guest today, I'm really excited. I'm so excited about my guest because my guest today is a friend of mine, but she's not just my friend. She's a mother. She's a businesswoman. She is an athlete. She's a singer. She is New York Liberty royalty. She is a WNBA pioneer. So I want you all to help me welcome my guest today, Ms. Kim Hampton. <laughs> Thank you, Val. Oh my gosh, Kimmy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I am so happy to have you with me. Okay, so guys, this is not my first time sitting down with Kim. We sat down like maybe four years ago. That's about four years ago, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so I'm really happy to have you back. And I'm saying back because actually this is the first time we're sitting down for the TV show. We sat down for Radio. TOTM Radio mm -hmm. back couple of years ago. And wow, how you've grown. I, this is awesome. <laughs> Thank Doing big things. And you look beautiful as always. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to jump into some questions because um, these are some questions that people want to know. Um, the first Liberty game, because you were, you were the first. Starting center. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first game of the WNBA. How was that? Oh my gosh. It was... We were on an emotional roller coaster. One moment we were hyped and we were like, yeah, yeah. Then the next moment we were nervous because the whole world would be watching. We were live on CBS. Um, we wanted to win and we, oh, it was just a mess, but it was so awesome. I remember uh, we played at the Great Western Forum. So we were on our bus coming from the hotel and we had to go down underground. And as soon as we got off the bus, the paparazzi were there. I mean, it was about a hundred of them and we had to walk through and, you know, just walking into that locker room. And I, <laughs> I remember, I'm so silly. I rubbed my butt in each one of the stalls because <laughs> I thought about Michael Jordan's been here, wow. you know, like all of the players, all of the wonderful players in the world, the NBA players have actually, you know, you know, played or sat in one of these stalls. So I was like, let me just touch it and by osmosis, maybe I'll get it, some of that so we can have a great game and stuff. But it was just amazing to be there and to see so many people come out and for the NBA and the networks to make such a big deal. I felt like I had died and gone to heaven. I mean, it was just amazing. It was a big deal. I remember it. I remember it like yesterday. Um, so... You said it was amazing, and the next question is, what was it like being among the first female basketball players in the WNBA, being a pioneer? It was, again, it was, um, it was awesome because I had played 12 years abroad in Europe prior, so to finally get to come to America so that your family and friends could actually see what you do and, you know, the commercial opportunities, and it was, it was just big time, so it was great to be um, a role model, a pioneer to, to look out in the, you know, in the arena when you're playing and to see little girls wearing your jersey and things like that. It was an amazing feeling. I mean, and, and I still feel the same way. And we're getting ready to celebrate the 20th anniversary this year. And, you know, who would have thought that it would have lasted for 20 years? I mean, you had your naysayers. So it's just been an incredible ride. And so because it's lasted 20 years, I can see it going on. The French, uh, the league is not going anywhere. It's going to be another 20 years, and it's just getting bigger and better. So, And I know this is the 20th. Um, they're embarking on a 20th anniversary. So there's some exciting things that are happening that are coming up uh, that the Liberty are doing, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. Well, again, the season's coming up in May. Um, you can go to nyliberty.com. Uh, and pull up the website, and there you can get all of the information about the upcoming season, you, uh, information about the, the past. Um, you can also find out where you can purchase tickets, and they play at Madison Square Garden. So, Which is the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, you, you have all the information right there. 
So I just want to talk a little bit about being an athlete from an athlete's perspective, you know, being a woman athlete. Do you think that there's any differences between being a woman and being a man as far as priorities? What is it that you should focus on when you're an athlete? No, there's no difference to it. I mean, basically, you have the same, um, uh, I guess, the skill set that you have to, to work on and try to improve. Uh, you have the mental aspect, the physical aspect, uh, the emotional aspect. We might be a little bit more emotional than the guys um, because of that time of the month. I was about to say, that's probably the only difference between women athletes yeah. and men athletes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, of course, here we are on TOTMT Talk. We have to talk about that aspect. Um, what would you say to a young girl who's in sports, mm -hmm. but she's a little apprehensive about playing because she's on her TOTM? Um, first of all, I think that that is something that should be addressed. And a lot of times you have male coaches that are coaching girls' teams. But I think someone should address that for the girls. It's super important because a lot of little girls play and their moms weren't athletes per se, so they didn't have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But it is important because it's important to know your flow. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are if you have a heavy flow, yeah. then you need to be extra protected. Exactly. And what does that mean? And, you know, you need to Double teach up. girls, exactly. You need to teach <laughs> girls about knowing, you know, timing themselves well. Mm -hmm. And so, it's it's um it's information that definitely needs to um to be shared with the girls. I was just and grateful I was light and um I didn't have to really go out of my way to And I was going to ask you that did you find that your TOTM ever affected your game at all? No, I mean there were a few times where yeah, you would have the cramps, but once you started moving, I, the exercise really did help and you started running, so it was it was okay. Movement is best. That's what I've yeah. always said. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I want to hear the story about the time that you got to meet our current president, oh. <laughs> President Barack Obama. Um, I, he's really into basketball, and I heard you guys had an opportunity to play some ball together. Yeah, it was great. Actually, um, we did a fundraiser, uh, the, MV, the NBA uh, reached out to us and asked uh, numerous of us like Patrick Ewing. I mean, it was current NBA uh, players, former NBA players, Michael Jordan. I mean, it was a ton of, of us, and it was about three or four of us girls that actually um, got to participate. And it was three um, events that whole day. It was um, a fantasy camp where people paid like $5,000 to actually come. And at each basket, it had at least four or five in current and former NBA, WNBA players at each basket. So they got to interact with all of these athletes. And then uh, we had a dinner after the, you know, we had a dinner and I think they paid like $50,000 to do the dinner and the president actually addressed us and Michael Jordan introduced him. And right. so it was really, really cool. And then after that, we went and played ball. So, you know, we- Does we he have skills? Actually, he was <laughs> off that day, you know. <laughs> But the, the coolest thing was he and I were, I think, the only lefties out there. So he kept high-fiving me, although we weren't on the same team. And it was a shooting contest because it was so many of us. We had teams, and, and it was like whoever made the most shots, you know, or made it to 10 first one, you know, so it was pretty cool. Uh, but he was off that day, but I was a lefty, and I was knocking it down. So he kept high-fiving me, hugging me. Kim, you holding it down for your team. A couple kisses on the cheek. So he was just really, really cool. So just, just you know, actually having the, the ear, I told him I wanted to come to the White House and sing. He's like, really now? He's like, okay. You know, you know, I think that needs to happen <laughs> before the year is out. If you are watching this, President Obama, Kim Hampton needs to come back to the White House. Yeah, I do. To sing. I do. And I know you guys invite several singers to the White House to sing. So, yeah, why not yeah. invite a baller? Exactly. Call it the crossover. Speaking of balling, do you miss the game? Um. A little bit, not as much, you know, and now as you get older, the wear and tear on I'm the body, the knees. <laughs> well, because you're timeless. Oh, well, <laughs> but but your body says differently at mm -hmm. times. And, um, you know, the knees and things like that. So I don't miss the, the like, the physical part as mm -hmm. much anymore. But I miss the things like the camaraderie, like fighting together, um, you know, winning the Eastern Conference Championship, getting an opportunity to, to, to play for the championship. I miss those things about the game. 
you know, and then the cool perks, you know, being a current player versus a retired player. So, yeah. Okay. A little. A little. Okay, so you know I cannot go without asking you, if it's sitting down, TOTM, what, it has to be a TOTM question. So what was, or is rather, okay, so you know I have to ask you a TOTM question. Okay. So what is your favorite TOTM food? Wow. Um, I have to, you know, I was never really no. affected like that. I like where I would crave. I didn't get cravings that much. Um, Probably because you're an athlete. It could have been, but yeah. I don't recall um, like eating something um, because I'm not really a chocolate person mm -hmm. or um, or ice cream person. Or you a know, potato might, chip person. Yeah, but I, I go through stages where I might have that, but yeah. No, no. it didn't. No favorite? It, I, I'm, no, no, nothing favorite. I can't really say that I have. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what's yours, chips? Uh, you know, mine used to be. It used to be chocolate and potato chips. <laughs> together? Together. <laughs> together. So I would eat a piece of chocolate and then I would eat a potato chip. And then a piece of chocolate and a potato chip. Yeah, it was an alternated. Awesome. Yeah. And so now, you know, they have the sweet. Uh, chocolate dip potato chips where you yeah. can get the best of both worlds. But now I eat so much differently and so much more healthier during my TOTM that mm. I don't really have that craving during that time of the month. Awesome. So, um, so Kimmy, so you guys, I'm talking to you in the audience now. <laughs> I've known Kim for quite some time and Kim doesn't even notice. So I've had this card forever. I got this card in 1997. Card? Oh my gosh, where's the card? I have a stack of cards. Oh. But the one that is important is this one. Zoom in on this. Oh. Come in closer. Can you yeah, get this? Yeah, that's the inaugural. Yeah. Do you got that? Can you zoom in on this? You got it? Okay. Let me see that. So, Kimmy, I would be honored if you would sign my card. Hmm. I've had it for... The past 19 years now. If I could go back to this weight, I'd be bald. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'd love to. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's got to sign my card. Where's your Sharpie? Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to be prepared, right? I am prepared. Hey. Hey. Do you want me just to sign it? Or just sign I, it. Just sign it. All right. Lefties make some noise. All right, here we go. Do I look like myself? <laughs> Maybe I should do this. So now, I just want everyone to know, this picture is identical to her daughter. She has a beautiful daughter who is, I, I believe she's blossoming into a young lady and following into the steps of her mom. She's a ball player, and I'm more than certain we're gonna see her in the WNBA soon. Yay. Yeah, yeah. So Kim, I just want to thank. I want to. I really, really want to thank you for signing this. Aww. I am so stoked. You guys have no idea. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you for having me and continue to spread the word. Um, oh, no, no, we're not finished. Oh, I, because I, I didn't share with you guys. Kimmy's a singer, but she's also about to venture into a new business opportunity is mm -hmm. it yeah do you want to tell us about it yeah okay well, thank you thank you <clears throat> well the name of the company is rx but it specializes in a healthy lifestyle healthy living um, and all of the products are are completely healthy like they have a new jove line which we will be launching um, monday the 21st at the restoration um, in Brooklyn and so we're really excited about it all of the products are you can eat them they're so good for you um, instant tightening serum um, they have a dark spot and correcting let's talk cream. about that instant tightening serum yeah <laughs> <laughs> because you know sometimes you have to tighten it up a little bit yeah exactly you definitely do I mean you have some days where if you didn't get enough sleep or 
if you maybe tie one on the night before and your eyes are a little puffy or whatever you It'll apply take care this of that. yeah it takes care of that and but but it's repetition it's it's like your game you know you you can't just go out and practice your jump shot once you mm -hmm. know it's it's about repetition just as as eating is you know you have to to eat consistently and it's what you do consistently that has a less lasting effect so the products are are amazing and as we get older you talk about being timeless um you know i'm turning i'll be i'll turn 54 this year oh my and gosh, um that is awesome. you know i just you know i just want to feel better i want to be healthier i want to move around you know they have a great weight loss product as well and um, I won a I won a, con a weight loss contest. I won a thousand dollars because I lost. Um, I wish I had the before and after pictures. I lost like thirty two pounds in twenty eight days, wow. and and so so it's it's really good. And so I'm excited about it because it's just um, you know something that can kind of help me, I guess, transition mm -hmm. into a better lifestyle. Awesome. Well, you know. For more information about that, I'm sure you're going to have some information on your website. Kim's website is www.kimhampton.com. You guys can follow Kimmy on Twitter at Kim Hampton One. Is it Kim Hampton? Kim Hampton One. It's Kim Hampton One, and that's K Y M. And I'm sure they're going to put that on the screen. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> so, Kimmy, thank you for sitting with me. It's always a pleasure. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Val. <laughs> mm, so I want to get up and hug and kiss. Well, and... let's lean forward. T.O.T.M. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so we'll be back in a T.O.T.M. minute. Ever felt cranky, irritable, or grouchy during that time of the month? Do you experience cramps or bloating during your period? Find out how you can have a happier and pain-free TOTM with TOTM Time of the Month, the ultimate period planner. This book is awesome and is perfect for girls and women of all ages. Once the essential planner for girls and women of all ages, the TOTM planner has been updated and is new and improved. You also get stickers with the planner to use and who doesn't love stickers? This is the only book that you'll ever need to not only track your period, but to also get tips on preventing bloating and cramping and ways to boost your moods. What's unique is that you can also jot down your daily appointments too, because it's also a planner as well. So what are you waiting for? Get your copy of TOTM Time of the Month, the ultimate period planner today. Available on Amazon.com. Also check out the website www.totmtimeofthemonth.com. Until next time, may every TOTM be a so happy one. Okay, now it's time for myth or fact. So, myth or fact, you cannot get pregnant if you have sex during your period. Okay, we're going to ask that to the audience. Everyone, this is my good friend Sharon. Sharon, where are you coming from? Queens, New York. Queens is in the house. Okay, so myth or fact, Sharon, you cannot get pregnant while you're on your period. Is that a myth or a fact? That's a myth. See, I know my friends know. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> I have another friend that's in the audience, Trine. Trine is coming from Brooklyn. Hey, Trine, say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Okay, so Trine, what do you think? Is that a myth or a fact? It is definitely a myth. My grandmother said you can get pregnant anytime. And grandma knows. Okay, so you know what? Let's see what they had to say out in the street. <laughs> now we're going to ask that same question out in the street. A fact, you cannot get pregnant if you have unprotected period sex. Myth or fact? Myth. Okay. Okay, so myth or fact. Is it a myth or a fact that you cannot get pregnant if you have sex while you're on your period? Myth or fact? Myth. Okay. That is a myth. You absolutely can get pregnant having unprotected period sex. So be careful. Guys, please forgive me because I'm just
fighting a little bit of a head cold. Time for a quick check-in on the TOTM challenge. How's the cinnamon challenge going for you? You know, you guys can weigh in. Let us know how you're doing. Tweet us at MyTOTM with the hashtag TOTM challenge. So ladies, you've heard from our guests earlier. There's no reason to sit on the sideline when you're on your period. So stay active. Walk, run, maybe perhaps play some basketball. Basketball is a fun way to stay active. Let's take a look at some ball handling. We are going to the offensive boards and yet the LA Sparks have the bigger player. Kim Hampton for two. Leslie with her first basket of the game. Now let's look at how not to handle the ball. <laughs> Share your fitness funnies with me by dropping us an email or tweet me. Okay, so that's our time. I'd like to thank our studio audience. I'd like to thank my special guest, Miss Kim Hampton. And I'd like to thank my crew, Mashu. And thank you to all of you at home that are tuning in, whether you're tuning in from Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, uh, Staten Island, or maybe even perhaps Texas or Florida. Thanks for tuning in. And ladies, be sure to give your breast special attention once a month by doing a self-breast examination a week after your TOTM. So until then, may every TOTM be a so happy one. See you next week. Hi, I'm Sharon. The, the show is definitely a great show. It gives good advice for all ages, all stages of life. I, I just completed um, a taping of TLTM Tea Talk with Val Carey, and it was a very informative and enlightening show. I think it is a great platform for women and young uh, ladies who are entering into the menstrual period and those who are dealing with different things to talk and to uh, get some better information about uh, what's going on with their bodies and the materials and the things that are available to us for us to deal with our TLTM. Wait a minute. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What did you guys?